Subscribe now. EU debates on the responsibilities of platforms and disinformation. Well, I would state as clearly as possible that platforms' responsibilities remain completely intact. It is not in any way called into question by the MFA. And uh, under the DSA, as you know, particularly when it comes to any content which could give rise to dangers in society and risks, obviously we've talked about that. But once again, this, and this is something we've done a lot of work on with Viera, it's all about our commitment under the disinformation code. And you'll remember that quite recently, along with the main stakeholders, we worked on this. They're very much involved in that process. So these issues were addressed. Obviously, it's a very topical issue, but it has no bearing whatsoever on the MFA. But when it comes to le legitimate media content withdrawn by the platforms based on their conditions of use, obviously that, that changes matters. The situation changes there. And I repeat, it is not the purpose of the DSA to ensure that all conditions of use laid down by the platforms are respected. And if the terms and conditions are not intended to protect uh, risks to so against risks to society, then of course, pluralism, media pluralism, enshrined in the MFA, uh, comes into play. And that is exactly how this um, plug-in that we talked about is intended to work. Thank you very much.